In this video, you're gonna learn how to SEO optimize your Pinterest account so that you can appear at the top of the Pinterest search engine. And I'm also gonna cover some of the key steps you need to do to set up your account, like adding a profile image. So let us get started with the profile image. This is a key part of your account. And let me walk, show you some of the uh, profile images from the accounts that I'm following so we can look at the best practices. Now there are only really two options for this image. Either one, it's gonna be you as a personal brand or the face of your business, or two, it's gonna be a company logo. So firstly, in terms of a personal brand, um, this is a good example here. It's a close shot of the face. It has a very kind of muted background. There's no distraction in the background. And I think it's instantly recognizable as that person. If we look across here at this profile, it could be better if that shot and the face was a lot closer to the camera because it'd be easier to recognize. And also she, you can see the pose there. It's not as easy to recognize that person. And also the background is maybe a little bit distracting. So maybe a closer image of the face there, just front on like this one here would be better. Also down here, make sure if you're uploading an image that it's high quality. If you're putting your business on Pinterest and you wanna attract customers, well then I think just a high quality image looks more professional and people will take you more seriously there. So that is for kind of a personal brand for an actual a company. Uh, really just your simple logo, you can do it. Um, if we look at some other examples, I can, show you some other examples here. These are companies that I think do particularly well. So if we look at Nike on Pinterest, you can see it's just a very simple black background with the tick instantly recognizable and of course consistent across all of their social media profiles. And uh, let's have a look at one other one, HubSpot. Again, they always do a good job at this. Just a simple two color logo, very recognizable even when it's very small like uh, it is here. Now to add the image, it's very simple. You can just come to your settings, come to your profile, change the picture, choose the photo, and I am just going to choose this from my desktop, which is the image that I use across all of my social media profiles. Now it's in here as well that I also want to optimize a couple of other things about my profile. So the first is the business name. And what we can do here is start to SEO optimize this profile name. We do want to be appearing at the top of the search results. So a key thing that we can do is start to put in some keywords here in our business name. Now I'll show you if we look at some of these profiles, the top influencers, and you can have a look at the top influencers that you have followed. You can see that they say their name and then they say couple of keywords for the niche that they're in. So Pinterest marketing, content creator. Now that helps them appear at the top of these search results when people are searching for people for those topics. As well, you can just see digital marketing and their keyword is kind of in their business name, digital marketing consultant, uh, Pinterest expert. So what I can do is just take that little bar and use it on my own profile Now what you can do, even if you have a business name, is say, put your business name here, and then say some of the things that you do, uh, whatever that is. So that could be your business name, and then e jewelry, e-commerce store, or something like that, whatever it is. Now next thing that we can do is just edit our username. You wanna make this look professional. You may have been given a username with a random string of numbers like this. So what you can do is just adjust that slightly. You could put in the real, the official, or for a personal brand, sometimes you can just stick in your middle initial and that'll be available. Now I'm actually just gonna see if that, if my first and last name is available. And if not, I can change that afterwards. Now next up, we've got the about us, about you section. And once again, it's a good idea to look at some top profiles you can see Pinterest marketer, again, those keywords from the title are repeated in here. And you can see some of the things they're an expert in. Essentially, that's your value proposition 
Why should people be following this account? What are you going to help them to do? And so there are some of the options there. So say a little bit about again, blogger, social media enthusiasts, etc. You can see a community where marketers and entrepreneurs come together to, to drive traffic, increase conversion, boost social eng engagement rates, etc. So that's a good one there because it shows, you know, why should I join this page or follow them because I'm joining a community and also a community that wants to achieve these goals. So that's a pretty good uh, bio that I can draw some ideas out of. Also down here, more like a personal brand. You can see top 50 social media marketing influencers. So some social proof. That's a good idea. How could I include that into my profile uh, as well here where they're located? Pinterest for business. So some of those keywords again, uh, help you scale your blog traffic using Pinterest. So that's good. Very focused then on Pinterest and giving a clear value proposition for following this. If we look at HubSpot now, I'm going to go ahead and follow these guys. You can see all in one marketing software that brings your marketing word of mouth together. We also like to have some fun. So a little bit of personality coming across there in the bio as well. So when you look at the other top accounts in your niche, you can really take the best from those, look at some of the, those ideas and put them together to create your own about you bio. Okay, so I filled out my about me. I said 200,000 can't be wrong. So that's something to try and catch their attention. A little bit of social proof. That's how many students have taken my digital marketing courses. There's my keyword, digital marketing. Follow me for actionable tips to grow your business. So that's a call to action. Follow my Pinterest accounts. And then why should they do that? They can get actionable tips to grow their business. A location then. I can just stick this in. Uh, Dublin, Ireland, and then go ahead and click save changes. And you might see this saying, oops, your username is already taken. So you can just shorten that down until you find a free username or change it around maybe the other way. So if we come to the profile now, we can see that we've got our SEO optimized title. We've got our SEO optimized bio that includes our keywords. And we also have a great looking profile image. So that is how you SEO optimize your Pinterest account so you can appear at the top of the search results and upload a profile image that's gonna look professional and want people to follow your account.